Here we go, geometry, chapter 3, section 1, pairs of lines and angles. Good times. All right, three things we're looking at here. Parallel lines, they do not intersect but are coplanar. So parallel lines are in the same plane and do not intersect. Skew lines do not intersect but they are not coplanar. So an example over here, line M and line K. They don't intersect, okay, and they are not coplanar. They are not in the same plane. And then parallel planes are planes that do not intersect, like plane T and plane U. We would write this uh, as plane T is parallel to plane U. It's not very nice. Again, plane T is parallel to plane U, something like that. All right, moving on. Okay, identifying lines and planes. Okay, think of each segment in the figure as part of a line. Which lines or planes appear to fit the description? Lines that are parallel to line CD containing point A. So we're looking at this point right here. Okay, lines that are parallel to CD. Okay, there are other lines that are parallel. EF, HG, and AB are all parallel to CD. However, the only one containing A is line AB. lines skew to CD and containing point A. So BG is skew to CD, but it doesn't contain point A. So going through point A, we've got line AH, but not only AH, AG is also skew to CD and contains point A. Lines perpendicular to CD and containing point A. Perpendicular means at a right angle. There are several lines like this one, but that one doesn't contain point A. So it's just AD. AD, line AD, and we write perpendicular is perpendicular to CD. Planes parallel to plane EFG containing point A. EFG, okay, that's this plane down here. We want a plane that's parallel to that, and that contains point A, and that would be plane ABC or ADC or DCB, any way you want to name that. So that is plane... Call it ABC, because if we can go in alphabetical order, that's the preference. All right, identifying parallel and perpendicular lines. If you have a line, and in the same plane you have a point, through that point there are endless lines, but only one line that is parallel to the first line. So line N is parallel to line L, it goes through point P. Through point P, there is also only one line that is perpendicular to line L. So through line P, only line K is perpendicular to line L. All right, so we have our parallel postulate. If there's a line and a point not on the line, then there's exactly one line through the point parallel to the given line. And our perpendicular postulate is if there's a line and a point not on the line, there's exactly one line through the point perpendicular to the given line. All right, a transversal. Angles formed by transversals. Transversal is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines at different points. Okay, you, up until now we've only looked at transversals through parallel lines. 
we are looking at transversals through two or more coplanar lines. Okay, so here's a transversal. It's going through these two coplanar lines, and it crosses at two different points. These two angles, 2 and 6, are called corresponding angles. They're in the same position. Okay, corresponding angles have the same position or corresponding position, so it's top right. So on this intersection, 2 is top right. On this one, 6 is top right, so they're corresponding angles. Alternate interior. Interior means on the inside of those two lines. Alternate means on opposite sides. So they lie in between, because they're on the interior, and they're on opposite sides of the transversal. Alternate exterior, as you could probably guess, exterior is on the outside of those two lines. And then alternate, again, means on opposite sides of the transversal. And finally, we have consecutive interior. And those are interior, and they are one follows the next one. So they're right next to each other. They're on the same side of, of the transversal. All right. So let's identify all pairs of angles of the given type. Corresponding. All right, so corresponding means in the same position. So we have 1 and 5, then 2 and 6, then 3 and 7, and finally 4 and 8. Those are the corresponding pairs of angles. Alternate interior. Alternate, so that's 2 and 7. Those are 2's up here, 7's down here. So alternate sides. And then 4 and 5. 4 and 5. Alternate exterior. 1 is on top, 8's below, so 1 and 8. And 3 and 6. 3 and 6. Consecutive interior would be 4 and 7. 4 and 7, and 2 and 5. And that's all there is to that. Alright, identifying parallel and perpendicular lines. The given line markings show how roads in a town are related to one another. Name a pair of parallel lines. Alright, well we've got CD, for example, or CE, and BF. We've got line C. D and B F. Those two are parallel. Name a pair of perpendicular lines. All right, we have perpendicular lines C D or C E. Let's go with C D this time. Line CE is perpendicular. This actually looks like it's a ray here. So, ray E, F. And then is line FE parallel to line AC? No. Because... Because no, not it. Because line AC goes through point M and line MD is parallel to EF. And the parallel postulate, parallel postulate says there's only one there is exactly one 
line that is parallel. And there you have it. That's all for today, folks. See you next time. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and smash that notification bell like it's your business.